Roger. Uh, numerous V4 targets have served in the vicinity of Catalina Airport. Uh, report I4 cancellation of dispersion frequency change to advisory frequency. Mega 132, Roger. I4 cancellation is received. Squawk V4 and frequency change approved. Alright, let's see if this works. I don't know if my stream is even up or not. That stupid Streamlabs thing crashed on me. Anyways, November 473 Delta Charlie. And we just want to get IFR to John Wayne. John Wayne clearance, November 473 Delta Charlie. IFR to John Wayne. Delta Charlie, John Wayne clearance, clear to John Wayne Airport on departure flight heading 220, radar vector Seoul Beach, direct, maintain 2000, expect 3000, one zero minutes after departure, departure frequency 128.1, squawk 1633. Number 473, Delta Charlie is clear to John Wayne, fly 220, vectors of Seal Beach, then direct, maintain 2000, expect 3000, 10 minutes after, 128.1, 1633 on the score. 3 Delta Charlie, we back, correct? Okay, so we got 1633. Okay, I think it's hard to tell. I think that's on. Find out. All right. So we got uh, we got Seal Beach and Nav two. Um, so we're gonna go two two zero on the heading. We'll fly. Then we'll get uh, direct to Seal Beach. Then we'll ask for vectors to the Islas two zero. That's pretty much it. Um, currently on the West FBO, and uh, we are pretty much ready for taxi now. Let's go switch over to John Wayne Tower. Or, sorry, John Wayne Ground. We're on the west side, 13225. 13225. Two, 939, Mike Alpha. Turn that three nine Mike Alpha. Santa Catalina correction. Santa Maria Ground go. Ahead. Uh nine three nine Mike Alpha type one seven two parked at northwest ramp BFR to Bakersfield at fifty five hundred with Quebec. Sky Nine three nine Mike Alpha. Are you looking for flight following? Uh I mean to ask for flight following uh when I'm up in the air. Mike Alpha. Granada Mike Alpha, Roger, runway 30, taxi via Alpha. 30, taxi by Alpha, 939, Mike Alpha. Cherokee 17, Whiskey, contact point, McGee approach 124.7. Leave those 
those off for now. John Wayne Ground, November 473, Delta Charlie, West FBO Taxi with X-ray. Air 473, Delta Charlie, John Wayne Ground, runway 20 right, taxi via Bravo Kilo. 20 right via Bravo Kilo, 3 Delta Charlie. Air 90617, Whiskey, Santa Barbara, correction, that's point, McGear approach, offside altimeter 2986. Looks clear, but there's somebody coming, so he was just gonna. There's always somebody coming down these roads, unfortunately. Yeah, I could have pulled out a little bit better. It's alright. Alright, this is Bravo here. Take it nice and slow. All right, full propellers checked. All right, that's good. Carpets off. Open this up for now. Okay, that's good and. You know, 1367 Romeo, Los Angeles Center. Good afternoon. Don't need flaps for takeoff. more in the left tank. Let's go ahead and how much more fuel is going to switch over to the left tank now. John Wayne Ground, Delta 313 with X ray request, push back into Bravo, please. Delta 213, John Wayne Ground, push on to Alpha is approved, tell North, expect runway 20 right. Expect 20 right and push back into Alpha approved. Here we go. We're going to do Santa Maria Tower, Cessna 939, Mike short Alpha here. holding short, runway 30. Not going to do the full run. Nine three nine zero, Mike Alpha, Santa Maria Tower, on course approved. Wind variable at six, runway three zero, clear for takeoff. I tap. Oops. Nine three nine, Mike Alpha, runway three zero, That's clear for takeoff. There. Tower is on one. Number one, two, one, seven, Julia. Uh, 126.8. 26.8. Alright, 126.8. Okay, everything's set, set, set. Let's go and put the landing light on. The collision lights coming on and our fuel pumps coming on and we're ready for departure. We're gonna fly two two zero maintaining two thousand and we'll expect three thousand. And uh, we are set for 
nav 2 is set to, to go direct to Seal Beach. And nav 1 set for the ILS frequency. Um, we are 115 checked and that's pretty good. John White Tower, November 473, Delta Charlie's ready for departure, 20 right at Kilo. Four seven three Delta Charlie John Wayne Tower wind two zero zero one zero runway two zero right at kilo cliff for takeoff. Cliff for takeoff two zero right at kilo three Delta Charlie. All right, clear. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get this thing down the runway. Somewhat decent without hurting myself. Okay, again, check clear. All right. Okay, line up straight here. That looks pretty good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the lock the tail wheel. And let's roll. Okay, manifold pressure about 30. We're do a slow roll. All right, slowly increase the power here. Okay, look at four, about 42 on the man. Okay, that's pretty good. Rotate. Okay, gear up. Okay, trim set now. Turn right two two zero. We expect a one twenty eight point one. Three three delta Charlie contact start departure. Going to departure three delta Charlie. All right one twenty eight point one. About 220 there. So could departure November 473, Delta Charlie 1300, climbing 2000. 473, Delta Charlie, the cut departure, runner contact, climb and maintain 3000. Up to 3000 for 3 Delta Charlie. Cherokee 1011, contact circle approach 134.2. Uh, traffic off here at 10 o'clock and 3.5 miles. Found altitude indicates 7,600 type of Okay, we're uh, climbing. We're just coming up about 2,000 now. Still in heading 220, looking pretty good there. Go ahead and pull our propellers back a little bit. That looking good. Delta 213, runway 20 right, taxi via Alpha Lima, hold short, runway 20 left at Lima. I do not have a lot of uh, experience in this plane. I've flew it a couple of times. So everything's kind of new to me. I had 300 to go on the climb. Start slowly leveling out here. I 
trying to get the trim going here. Get this thing level. Still trying to get. Two thirteen, John Wayne Tower, cross runway two zero. Still messing with the trim here. Runway two zero, right, clear for takeoff. Wind two zero zero at one zero. Southwest 3 Delta Charlie, chin right heading 010, safe approach request. Did she just call me? Uh, I think she just called me. I'm trying to get my damn trim set here. Yeah, was that call for uh, 3 Delta Charlie? No, 3 Delta Charlie affirmative, turn right heading 010, as safe approach request. 010, like the vectors uh, to ILS 20 right. Okay, 3 Delta Charlie, expect that. We'll expect that, 3 Delta Charlie. 010, okay. Trying to get my altitude straightened out a little bit. The trim is just, um, it's kind of going back and forth here with me. So looking for 010. I'm trying to maintain my, trying to maintain my altitude properly here. Delta 213, contact circuit departure. And good evening, so called uh, 213. Uh, we are uh, 2.1 for 5,000. Okay, so there's. So the 213, sir, got a partial rate of contact. 010, on the a little late 000. on the turn. That's kind of rough. 213. All right, let's go ahead and pull the throttle back just there. 17 Juliet, contact Santa Barbara approach 120.55. Now, I wonder if I can get this autopilot to work. Maybe it might help me out here. Okay, we'll go level. Can't tell if that's on or not. I think that's on, okay, we're level. There we go. Let's set this to 010. And let's see if we can put this in heading mode. Okay. All right, that'll help me out a little bit here trying to get everything else going here. So 1217 Juliet, contact Santa Barbara approach 120.55. Jumpy 123 Los Angeles clearance clear to JFK International Airport, Ocean 8 departure, bail transition is filed, climb via SID, except maintain 5,000. Expect by level 3301 zero minutes after departure. Okay, everything departure looks pretty good. Departure frequency 125.2, squawk 5315. I'm going to do this button here. Go ahead and close these. Under trail. Alright, then we'll close them. Okay. Actually, we should be looking at this view since we're doing. Instruments in there. 123, read back, correct. One thing I want to do is keep checking here. I'm at 015 now, so. This needs to go here. This needs to go. Delta 213, fly heading 200. Alright, that looks good. Uh, right there, heading 200213. Right. There, 1217 Juliet. Santa Barbara approach Santa Maria altimeter 2986. Santa Pass discretion maintains 4000 and stake in your approach request. Okay, we need to go just lightly. There we go. I think that's good. Delta 
So we should be getting vectors to, well, anywhere outside of Lemon. The altitude I gave you was at a uh, pilot's discretion to maintain 4,000. That's all we're calling Los Angeles Center and pick up the VFR flight following out of Barranco Valley. Stay in your call sign. Charlie Romeo, part of that was blocked. I understand you look for a flight following 4,500 to Lima 77, Squawk 6134, Ident. So I want to look for, let's go Lemon from Seal Beach, Lemon. Actually, we'll go Snake to start with. That should be a zero 060. Zero. I'm going to switch my nav 2 to zero 060 zero for a reference point. Turn 9039 or Mike Alpha, Santa Barbara, approach, squawk 4770, item. That way, as I'm coming down the ILS, I'll know where just a confirmation of both my ILS Delta 213, clear direction and calling of the OR, contact for uh, direct the, uh, uh, direct here, uh, X-ray Charlie and then contact approach where? Uh, now contact circle approach 127.4. Where are you going? 127.4213. There's 648 Charlie Romeo, you are radar contact at three and a half miles northeast of Barranco Valley VOR. See, I'll give you Palm Springs altimeter 2 272. Uh, confirm aircraft flight for me. I'm getting vectored way out here. It's fine, it gives me more time on the ILS to make sure I know what I'm doing on that thing. Six point seven, it'll be so caliber. One, two, six point seven. Six point seven, Charlie Romeo, Charlie Romeo, Charlie So this is going to be a problem here. Here, nine three nine Mike Alpha, you're at a contact one one mile southeast of the VOR Santa Maria. Because I'm at three thousand, and if I get turned to the right, I need to be at thirty five hundred. Because I'm three down to Charlie, turn right heading one zero zero. One zero zero three Delta Charlie. Delta 213, circle approach, Catalina altimeter 2990. And do you have a approach request? All right, just in time. Delta 213, you said VOR Bravo approach, cross Santa Catalina VOR at or above 4,000 clear VOR Bravo approach. Slow it down just because I want to Julia turn right direct cut out, cross cut out, sure out of about four thousand, clear to RNAF time. runway two nine or approach. That's a three delta Charlie of four and a half miles from Spain, turn right heading one seven zero, maintain three thousand till it's five small quadrants that I left runway two zero right approach. All right, 170, maintain 3,000 until established, cleared for the ILS-20 right approach, 3 Delta Charlie. 
Center, then I'm Mike Alfred, contact Los Angeles okay. Center, So I'm going to maintain 3,000 until I'm established. So I'm watching my needles here. Okay, we can go ahead and just get another uh, ATIS real quick. Initial contact, you have X-ray. Okay, still X-ray. Okay, so that'll be the same altimeter, so our altimeter's not going to change. Looks like I'm direct to snake. snake, and then after snake, I can descend to 2800. Delta 213, radar contact lost. Okay, needle starting to come alive here. See here, my backup is coming alive down for Snake as well at 060, so that's looking good. So I'm pretty much right on Snake now. I'm going to go ahead and start making my right turn for 196. And then I can also descend down to 2800. Six four eight Charlie Romeo. Right about there. Approach Palm Springs altimeter two nine seven two. Okay, so our next um, would be Puckham Puckham at zero six eight on the back up here. Our nav tunes. All right, looks like I'm pretty much right on the localizer. Coming up to twenty eight hundred and DME will be uh, ten. Okay, looking good. I can continue down now to for Lemon at 2200. All right, looks pretty good on the descent. Coming up on 10, right at 2800 now. And I have my 068 coming in line here. So our next one is going to be Lemon 076. Okay, that's about right there. We're going to be at 2,200 feet, and that's at uh, 7.8 DME. Okay, actually, what I'm going to do here is make this a little bit better. There we go. Come back on the speed just a hair. Okay, just slightly right. Turn there, okay. and we're looking for <coughs> a final approach at 7.8 at 2200. I'm just slightly high, but drop it down a notch here. And we're coming up on lemon. That's just coming down in it. That's coming down in. It. Now I can descend down to 1,040, and actually just follow the needles at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and descend a little bit quicker. I'm going to pull the speed back some. Let's go ahead and turn my autopilot off. Missed approach will be, before I turn the autopilot, climb to 3000 on the SNA localizer south course, 196 to Menno. All right. That looks pretty good there. Menno is going to be on 113.6 on the map, too. 3.6. Okay. All right. I still need to get down. Still need to get down. Speed. And 113.6 on the radio. 123 from LAX. So let's go ahead and get that moved over. And okay, that's about right. All right. 5.8. Let's go ahead and get our gear down. Autopilot's coming off. We're gonna go flaps one. We're pretty much right um, on the localizer, and we're going to descend a little bit 
when I put the flaps up, it starts to climb rapidly, as you can see. So missed approach is uh, what's going to be minimums here are 255. Okay, slightly right. And now I'm coming down a little bit too quickly. Let's get stable. I'm kind of far right of the center line. All right, it's coming down a little too quick. Let's get our uh, trim set up here and make a little bit of a left turn. Okay, too much to the left. Okay, looking pretty good. Trim this out a little bit better. And what? All right. What I'm going to do here is get my head up just early. There. Because I was way too slow and I was starting to stall it out. So, yeah. This thing is really sensitive <laughs> on the on the settings here with the throttle and everything. Alright, still trying to trim this thing properly here. And I should be getting a tower change here pretty quickly. And all my scans, one thing I didn't do on that scan was my speed. And I got way too slow. As you can see, it's, it started to almost stall out. Anyways, let's get back under the hood here a little bit. I cannot trim this thing nose down enough right now. It's crazy. There, start to get a little better. Circle approach, three Delta Charlie, I go to terror. Delta three Delta Charlie, I did actually give you a frequency change. Contact over to one two six point eight. Two six point eight, uh, three Delta Charlie. Uh, two six point eight. I didn't hear that. way off course now because I can't do all that at once. Cessna 172 Sierra Papa holding shore, runway 29. I have information, Bravo. That's a lot of work to do. Cessna 172 Sierra Papa, St. Louis ground, Sager frequency to be on tower. John my tower. November 473, Delta Charlie short, final 2 zero right. Delta 473, Delta Charlie, John Wayne Tower, runway 2 zero right, clear to land, the wind is uh, 18013. Clear to land, 2 zero right, uh, 3 Delta Charlie. Alright, <laughs> that was pretty rough actually. That was a, um, at, at one point I felt like I was doing pretty good and then I kind of stalled the plane out and I ended up way right of center line. So, and then trying to change these frequencies is a, a real big pain in the ass. So, because I got to take both hands, I got to basically take my hands off of the, you know, off of my stick while I'm changing frequencies there. Cat three certification. For one seven two, Sierra Papa, San Luis Tower, and way two nine clear to take off. Make a left, close traffic. Midfield. I'm going to try to do time. the I2 Wind real quick too with this as well. Is, uh, two, three, zero, five. Just got a file. I think it's, it should be a pretty simple plan. 172 Sierra Papa, that'll be uh, runway right. 29. So get off of here. Sign, uh, left close traffic report midfield each time. Come on. Sierra Papa. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is, there we go, release the tailwheel when I'm taxiing. I'll just taxi straight ahead here. Yeah, trying to keep this thing straight. 
quite fun. San Luis Obispo Tower, Pilatus 127 Juliet. All right, clear on the left. Final. Clear on the right. I think I'm clear of the runway. Plus right. 12170, San Luis Tower, runway 29, clear to land traffic, the Skyhawk depart in two, part in 29, hope we do a left close traffic. The wind is 2305. Clear to land and we'll keep an eye out for the parking traffic, 17 Juliet. Scott 2, Sir Papa X, about your takeoff, got to a lot of PC 12 on a uh, one and a half mile final. John White Tower, November 473, Delta Charlie's clear. 2 0 right, taxi straight ahead. Up through the try taxi straight ahead, monitor. We'll monitor ground, that's 3 Delta Charlie. Alright, let me go ahead and do this. Ground is on 132. Las Vegas clear, on a good day. 132.25. There. Kilo India Mike. Uh, space France on request, Yeah, these stupid vehicles are all over the place. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it around right here. Las Vegas Tower, see if I can do the next. Shorter two five right, ready for departure. Go ahead, just stop it right here. That's good enough. JetBlue one twenty three, Los Angeles, out of runway two five right, clear for takeoff. Wind two two zero at nine hundred twenty. Set. Let's go ahead and figure out right, clear what we're going to do Jeff for the I-2. Um, so, the I-2 is just from here to Palomar. And we're going to file 5,000 Victor 23 to Oceanside. Pretty simple. Taxing to Transient Park. For 170, let's taxi park straight ahead, this frequency. So we're going to go K, C, Q. Tampa Hotel Kilo India Mike, clear to Los Angeles Airport, boat state departure, Ricky transition, as filed. Uh, climb by SID, squawk 5326, correction, uh, squawk uh, 5326, at P326. Victor 23 to OCN, and let's file that. Cleared to LAX, boat state departure, Ricky transition, as filed. Uh, climb via SID. Uh, squawk 5326, and I didn't get the frequency for Papa Tau Kilo India Mike. Papa Tau Kilo India Mike, back correct. The departure frequency right, is so we just on filed the boat state uh, plate. For Victor 23 to Oceanside. Um, what's the right, I2 say I we have, have to do here? Papa Tau Kilo India Mike. <sighs> it's just basically um, just being on the Victor 23, it looks like it's the requirements here. And I think we're going to re ask for a. Um, and shoot the ILS-24. Let's see, ILS-24, does it want a full approach or not? I don't think so. San Luis Tower, Cessna 172 Sierra Papa reporting uh, left downwind midfield. JetBlue 123, so call, contact, so call departure. So thank, um, contact yeah, I'll just jump back to the ILS 172, right. Sierra Papa, runway 29, clear for the option. Let's go clearance, 118. 1 Sierra Papa, runway 29, or clear for the option. Sierra. Pad out here. I gotta remember this call sign. I think I missed her call a couple times because I'm not used to using this call sign, so could have been half my problem. All right, let's go ahead and get to our ADIS real quick. Las Vegas clearance, Papa Kilo and Mike. Did you expect another readback? Or was the readback correct? One eight zero at one three. Papa Kilo and Mike, I inform you readback was correct. View clouds at two thousand five hundred. Temperature to four. 2.16 altimeter 2983 visual approach right, runway 20 left 20 right in use departing runway 20 left 20 right about, use caution there. for bird activity what i do here is i just look at the um elevation for the field because i can't really if you look at this closely it's hard to see where this is but 
is pretty much 293. It's right about 56 feet here on the field elevation, so that's what I'm using. All right, so let's look at our route. Um, Victor. We're going to go Victor 2, Victor 23 to Oceanside. And so what we're going to look at, let me see if I can pull this up on the stream here. Oh, that's the wrong button. All right, so this is what we got here. So basically, we're going to get probably uh, heading 220. And then they're going to give us vectors to join Victor 23. So what we need to be on is 120 radial from Seal Beach. So that's 115.7. I'm going to set that in now. We can also turn this on now as well. So we can get, just confirm it real quick. Perfect. Uh, it is confirmed. And then we're going to to Oceanside. Oceanside is going to be a 115.3. So we'll go ahead and set that in nav 2. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm picking it up yet, so that's fine. And then 120 outbound. Las Vegas ramp, Papa Pennsylvania Mike at Southwest GA ramp, uh, okay. ready for taxi with information That's hotel. Good. I'm going to go ahead and open my cow flaps. Ah. I just do not like that. Papa Hotel, okay. Kilo, India Mike, Vegas Strand, we're one on our right, taxi by Hotel Foxtrot. Okay, so we're um, compass reads 185. Right, yeah, Let's go ahead and set to 185 here, that looks good. And it's about 185 there. We're set. I'm going to set my autopilot to 220 for the heading initially. Okay, that looks good. All right, now I'm going to get my clearance. John McClarence, November 473, Delta Charlie, IFR to Pelimer. 473, Delta Charlie, John Wayne Ground, clear to the Palomar side airport. Crash in, Palom Crash in Palomar, Carlsbad airport. On departure flight heading 175, air directors Victor 23 as filed. You maintain 5,000, departure 128.1, squawk 3010. November 473, Delta Charlie's clear to Palomar. Flight heading 175 for vectors to Victor 23. Maintain 5,128.1 and squawk 3010. 3 Delta Charlie, you're back correct. All right, so. Okay, 3010. All right, and it's set for on altitude. All right, I think I'm ready to go. He he re he said ground, but we're actually on. To, I mean, on. When I called uh, clearance, he said ground back to me, but it's whatever. All right, I'm ready to go. Join my ground, November four seven three Delta Charlie West Ramp with Yankee a Taxi. Four seven eight. That's John Wayne Ground. I'm at two zero right. Taxi by Bravo and Kilo. The altimeter two nine or eight three. A taxi two zero right. Bravo Kilo nine or eight three. Three Delta Charlie. All right. Let's do this. All right. Let's take that off. It's kind of annoying. All right.
Cool. You know what I didn't do? Is my landing checklist. <laughs> what? Well, I didn't really have a whole lot of time here. I also, I'm going to check this real quick. Alright, about the same fuel. Okay, let's not mess around here. You call for taxi, you should be ready to taxi. San Luis Tower, Cessna 172 Sierra Papa on left downwind for runway 29 reporting midfield. Scott 2 Sierra Papa runway 29 are cleared for the option. Sierra Papa runway 29 are clear for the option. Sierra okay, Papa. Clear. Alright, nice and slow on the taxi. The other thing I didn't do is turn my landing light off and just collision light. I was just lucky to get down safely. I should probably look at the. Eh, I'll wait till I get on Victor 23. I'll look at the approach. I didn't. I haven't really looked at the ILS for this yet. I'm gonna go over it in flight. All right, we're gonna fly 175. I put 220 here, so I want to change this to 175. Before I forget, also I'm gonna turn here. Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and hold the brakes there. Hey, good evening, uh, John Wayne. Clearance, two, uh, two, one, three. Uh, information Yankee, uh, I-7, clearance to... Uh, uh, one, seven, five, set. Let's go ahead and put 126.8 for tower. Check the lights, range. Being 175, Peter Victor's Santa Catalina, direct. Maintain 5,000. Expect 6,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.1, squawk 5102. Uh, I'm trying to answer this here to Santa Carolina. We'll be uh, heading off 175 departure. We're back to uh, Santa Carolina. 5,000, uh, 6,000, 10 minutes after. 128.1 in squawk 5102. Well. 213, you're back, correct. And uh, you take out the fact that this is an I-7, right? Yes. Thank you. John Wayne Tower, November 473, Delta Charlie is uh, ready for departure. 2 0 right holding at uh, Kilo. Delta 473, Delta Charlie, John Wayne Tower, way 2 0 right at Kilo, cleared for takeoff, wind 180 at 13. Cleared for takeoff, 2 0 right at Kilo, Delta, or Douglas uh, 3, Delta Charlie. All right. It's clear. Bakersfield Tower, Cessna 939 Mike Alpha. For 939 Mike Alpha, Bakersfield Tower. 
939 Mike Alpha is uh, about seven miles southwest of field at 3,300. Oh, that was an landing awesome lineup. with okay. Romeo. Let's try this again. 939 Mike Alpha. 939 Mike Alpha, enter the right. Correction left down, one runway 30 right, port turning base, wind 2. Pretty important to get yourself at seven, altimeter two nine or seven, uh, rolling nine. straight before you start because. Say again, please. 939 Mike Alpha. We're going to lock the tailwheel now. 939 Mike Alpha, control wind 270 at 7. And altimeter the controlling two nine is going to be pretty nine. unstable. Enter the left down, wind. All right, runway propeller full zero forward. Right, port base. Everything looks good. We're ready. Let's left go. Left down wind. For 175 three at 5,000 feet. 939 Mike Alpha. Okay, 30 right. on the man pressure. 30 right, Mike Alpha. Las Vegas Tower, Pop Tokyo, Kilo in the MI, calling short. Runway 1 a little faster. Right at Foxtrot, ready for IFR departure. Pavoto Kilo India Mike Las Vegas Tower, runway one on our right, clear to four take off, we have two, two zero at that. Okay, 80 knots. Clear for take off on our right at Fox Trot. Pavoto Kilo India Mike. Gear up. Okay, gear up. Head over three Delta Charlie, contact for call departure. Go to departure at three Delta Charlie. Alright, one two eight point one. Okay, turn. Sir one seven with key radar service is terminated for feet of fire. Frequency change approved. There is traffic slightly left your eleven o'clock, two and a half miles southwest bound out to she indicates two thousand seven hundred type of Look at the departure, Douglas 473, Delta Charlie 1300, climbing 5000. Douglas 473, Delta Charlie, circuit departure, radar contact. Okay, looking pretty good. Trying to get my trim set a little bit better here. Phenom 67 Romeo, will contact Albuquerque Center. One three four point three two thirty four thirty two. All right, two thousand on the heading. Let's see if we can put our autopilot on. See if it works. Okay. Heading mode as well. There we go. This, it takes a load off me trying to keep trimming this thing up and down. Calpops closed, that looks good. Alright, that looks pretty cool. Alright. Alright, 3,300 climbing 5,000. Okay, on Las Vegas departure, radar contact. Pull our props back, our propellers back a little bit. Give it to about 2,500. Okay, looks good. Start leaning this thing out a little bit as well. Alright, 4,000, climbing 5,000. Slowing our climb up. Alright, we can turn off our landing lights and taxi lights. Our fuel pumps can come off. Everything else looks pretty good. Right, 4,500, 500 to go.
level it out. Looks like we got a ship out. Oh no, that's a tank uh, oil rig, I think. Out here. Let's get a left turn here shortly. Left turn zero six five to join Victor twenty three. Okay, I guess gonna check my fuel here. All right, right tank's a little bit fuller. I'll repeat for three Delta Charlie. For three Delta Charlie, uh, correction. Turn left heading zero nine zero join Victor twenty three. Zero nine zero for uh, joining Victor twenty three and three Delta Charlie. As I was gonna say, I'm I, I'm slant Alpha, so I can't. Um, I can't uh, do a direct two. All right, but what I can do now is start looking at Palomar approach. Okay, compass shows we're about zero nine one. Let's go ahead and switch that to zero nine one. Right about there. Pretty much the same here as well. Okay, we're already picking up the VOR. Let's see if we can pick up VOR number two as well. All right, that sounds good. Charlie Romeo, Blythe Airport, 12 o'clock, 1 zero miles, reporting site. All right, so RLS 20 is going to be this approach climb to 3,000. We're heading 245 and, and on the Oceanside Vortex, radio 145 to Oceanside Vortex and hold. Perfect. Six 
Airport, HR Lim Road, near radar surface is terminated, score feed, fire frequency change. KAM, Los Angeles Center, climb and maintain flight level Okay, so picking up the radial now. I stepped off the comms for a second, so hopefully I didn't get any radio. Switch. So, a right turn one two zero. Uh, good evening, uh, Delta two one three. We are level of factor. Well, I did it a little bit early, actually. Let me go back to zero nine zero. I don't think this is directly on one two zero. Delta two thirteen, check out a fire chair rate of contact. Climb and maintain six thousand. Up to six thousand two hundred. 2.16, altimeter 2984, visual approach runway 24, in use, departing runway 24, read back all runway assignments, and hold short instructions, advise on initial contact you have Sierra, McClellan Palomar information Sierra, 2153 Zulu, wind 220 at 7, visibility 10, cool, we have Sierra, that's good. Let's switch over. Let me go one two zero now. The heading. I'm gonna switch over to Palomar. That looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna just fly by direct to Palomar, or not direct, but let's see. Is that on one two zero? Yeah, it's pretty close. Approach November 473, Delta Charlie, give me a frequency change. Delta Charlie, negative, but I can now contact Cambridge 119.6. Delta Charlie, negative, 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 Circle approach, Douglas 473, Delta Charlie 5000. No, 473, Delta Charlie, circle approach. Palmer, altimeter 2984, safe approach request. 2984, and we'd like the vectors to ILS 24. 3 Delta Charlie. 
Delta Charlie to part Ocean Side View are heading 070 Vector I left from a two four approach. A zero seven Zero seven to part Oceanside zero seven zero three Delta Charlie. I think that's what she said. Zero seven zero. Okay. All right. Zero seven zero. Coming up on it pretty close now. Anyways. All right. I got to put in. One oh eight one oh eight point seven. Okay, so we got one oh eight point seven and it's going to be two four five. Looks pretty good. Now let's make our left turn four. Zero seven zero. Just about there. So the two thirteen turn right to extend a Catalina VOR. Contact I don't know why this thing's going haywire here. Check this thing out. Wow. All right. So let's go zero seven zero now. Yeah, this thing's going bonkers. All right, so miss, it's going to climb to 3,000 on a heading of 245 and the vortex for the ocean side. So, approach Carolina altimeter 288 and safe request. We're going to do 145 here. That'll be this thing's going crazy right now. Holy shit! Delta 213, cross the Carolina VOR at. 4,000 or above, clear VOR, Bravo, approach. Alright, I gotta look out and see what's, what is, why it's doing this. That's, that was insane, man. <laughs> it was not holding the altitude at all. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to be hand flying this. Isn't the worst thing in the world either. So 108.7 is the localizer. Fairly stable. They come right just a hair for zero seven zero. Try to trim this thing out. Again, one more time. Missed approach climb to three thousand on a heading of two four five and hold. And on the vortex radio one forty five to Oceanside and hold. So if we have to hold, let me show you here, let's do our approach, hold, let's pull this up real quick, and maintain altitude first. So if we have to come, we're going to come off at the hold, we're going to basically do right turns, and since there's no holding depicted there, we'll just hold there. So that's what we'll do, is we'll hit this, we'll make a right turn and hold. 
Alright, anyways, that's our approach. So, let's go ahead and turn that back off. Try to maintain flight level here. Or level flight, I mean. This thing is definitely not very stable with the trim, for sure. Delta 213, radar contact loss. That autopilot thing was weird. I don't know what was causing it to go full up and down like that. Okay, and we're actually two hundred eighty-three, so there. Move one click down. Hopefully get a right turn here fairly soon. Charlie, turn right heading 170. Right, 170, 3 Delta Charlie. stable when I have to change frequencies and stuff. Um, let's see, tower frequencies, so just so I'm ready for it, will be 118.6. Okay. Alright, that's Here. Delta Charlie, just going to maintain. Actually, I'll give you a turn right first. Turn right, heading 220, join the localizer. Right, 220, join localizer. Established. I'm cleared for the approach. So now I can descend down. Let's go ahead and keep back on the throttles a little bit. Okay, so I'm looking for 
3300 by 10.4. And then after that, we can just send down to 2600 by 8. Six point five twenty three hundred. Now I can just follow the needles. All right, we're looking for a frequency change. Let's go ahead and go gear down. Echo three Delta Charlie contact Palomar Tower one eight point six. Eighteen point six three Delta Charlie. All right, eighteen point six Palomar Tower November four seven three Delta Charlie ILS two four. Four seven three Delta Charlie Palomar Tower runway two four Cradle Land one two two zero one seven. Third land two four three Delta Charlie. Yeah, I was way off course there. I just trying to change. Once I take my hand off the, that's why I looked up right away. Is once I take my took my hand off to change the frequency, it got me all out of whack there. I gear down, flat one. I had to been clear to land here. back under the hood here maybe for a second I just the trim on this thing is it's not enough really all right there we go looking pretty decent pretty stable um, altitudes a thousand we can descend down to 527 all right, let's go ahead and look up got rapidly off course there. Seems like I'm trimming more than I'm using anything else. It's just because it doesn't stay stable very very well. And that just might be me improperly using the trim. All right, three green flaps. We get first stage of flaps is good. We've been clear to land. Landing checklist is completed, except for landing lights. All right.
Okay. Let's get off the runway. Just stay stable here straight. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and... If I had a, well, I don't know, it'd just be easier if I could hold the stick and change frequencies all at the same time. Okay, this is a really small airport. Palomar Tower, 3 Delta, Charlie's Clear, Alpha 5 and Alpha, as taxis right next to me here. Three Delta Charlie, taxi to parking straight ahead by Alpha. Straight ahead by Alpha, three Delta Charlie, thanks. All right, that's gonna be it for me today. Maybe I'll knock two more of these things out tomorrow. It's kind of fun to fly something different on the I ratings than what I did originally. Something that's a little bit more of a struggle. It's like, I'm, you know, as you can see, I'm kind of struggling with some things, but I think by the time I do all of them, I'll have this plane down a lot better than I do now. All right, so let's go ahead and get the landing lights off. And I never did turn the fuel pumps on, so I didn't really do a, a good landing checklist, obviously. Park and brake on. Kill the engines. Generator's coming off. All right. Come on. Canyon ground, FedEx on the two dude. level to terminal with the weather ready for taxi. I really hate the fact that I have to do it this way. Okay. FedEx 102, can you go out of way? 2 1, taxi to Alpha. 2 1, Alpha, FedEx 102. And that's good enough. Alright, really? Screw it. Alright, let's turn fuel tank off. It's good like that. And then battery. All right, that's it for me um, until tomorrow, it looks like. All right, see ya.